In prokaryotic cells, such as bacterial cells, operons are used to regulate gene expression. Now, what about in eukaryotic organisms? How do eukaryotic cells, such as the cells found in our body, actually regulate gene expression? Well, because eukaryotic cells are so much more complex than prokaryotic cells, we see that the method by which genes are regulated in eukaryotic organisms is much more complex than that in prokaryotic organisms. And there are many different levels at which gene regulation and gene expression can actually take place. And in this lecture, we're going to focus on the most common method of regulating genes in eukaryotic cells, and this is on the level of transcription itself. So by actually changing the rate at which transcription takes place. So in this lecture, we're going to briefly discuss the different components that are found along a eukaryotic gene. So this basically describes a diagram of a basic eukaryotic gene and we have five important components. We have exons, we have introns, we have our transcription start site, we have promoters, and we have enhancers. So let's begin by discussing what we mean by exons and introns. So in any eukaryotic gene, we have those segments of DNA that actually do code for a polypeptide and those segments that do not code for a polypeptide. So in this particular diagram, these are the exons. They are segments of DNA that do code for a polypeptide, while these orange sections are the introns. They do not code for anything useful. And eventually, during the process of RNA splicing, these sections are actually removed from that mRNA molecule, and only these exons are actually left. Now, what about this segment right over here? So this green segment is known as the transcription start site. And this is where transcription actually begins. So a special protein complex that consists of 12 proteins known as RNA polymerase II binds onto the start side, the transcription start side, and this is where initiation actually takes place. This is where we begin the process of transcription. So this is our transcription start site. So this is our start site. This is exon number one, this is exon number two, and exon number three. This is, let's say, intron number one, and this is intron number two. So we have introns, exons, a start site. Now, what about this segment and this segment here? So together, the, this entire region is known as the promoter. So just like operons in prokaryotic cells contain promoters, so do these eukaryotic genes. But the promoters of eukaryotic genes are much more complex. So we have different parts of the promoter. So the promoter can be broken down into the core promoter, which is basically shown in pink, this is our core promoter, and these remaining promoters are known as the upstream promoters. Now, notice that the core promoter, this entire segment, is found upstream to the left of the start side. In fact, usually this is located about 40 bases to the left of our start side. Now, this core promoter basically doesn't change from one eukaryotic gene to another eukaryotic gene, so it remains consistent. In fact, the most common type of core promoter is the Tata box core promoter. And the reason we call it Tata box is because the sequence of nucleotides is TATA, -A, and that doesn't change when we go from one eukaryotic gene to another. So that recurs between different or that recurs within different uh, types of eukaryotic genes. Now, what's so special about the Tata box? What's so special about the core promoter in general? So this is where all the different types of transcription factors and regulatory proteins actually bind to and they form a complex that consists of over 50 different types of proteins and this complex is necessary for transcription to actually take place. 
So we have this complex of proteins that binds onto our Tata box and then basically calls upon other proteins. Those other proteins bind forming a larger complex and so forth and eventually that interacts with the protein found at the start side and that initiates the process of RNA transcription. So two important types of proteins you should be familiar with is transcription factor 2D and transcription factor 2B. Now, transcription factor 2D is itself a complex of many proteins, and one of the important proteins within the transcription factor 2D is known as the Tata binding protein, or TBP. And this is the protein that actually binds to the sequence TATA found on the core promoter. Now we also have the transcription factor 2B and this is the protein that is needed for the interaction to take place between the RNA polymerase 2 protein found on the start side and the Tata binding protein. So that's why we need the transcription factor 2B. So we see that the core promoter is where the majority of the proteins actually uh, congregate when they actually bind. Now what about these other upstream promoters? So these are known as the upstream promoters. What's so special about the upstream promoters? Well, these are also segments of DNA that allow the binding of different types of regulatory proteins. So they can either be proteins that activate transcription or proteins that repress transcription, inhibit transcription from taking place. Now, unlike the core promoter, which doesn't really change when we go from one eukaryotic gene to another, we see that the number and the types of upstream promoters do vary between different types of eukaryotic genes. Now, the final type of section that we're going to focus on is known as the enhancer. So this section is known as the enhancer and notice it is found much farther away from our gene than anything else. In fact, the enhancer is usually found thousands of bases upstream or downstream our gene. Now, what's so special about the enhancer? Well, basically, the enhancer can also bind special transcription factors. And when a transcription factor binds onto the enhancer, the enhancer will essentially loop around and bind onto the protein complex found on the promoter. And this interaction will stimulate transcription and increase the rate of transcription of this gene. So, the enhancers are segments of DNA that are typically located far away from the gene. They can be either upstream, they can be either downstream, or they can also be in some cases inside that gene itself. Now, enhancers bind special transcription factor proteins that increase the rate of transcription and how that takes place is this entire complex essentially loops around. So this is our enhancer. This is the transcription factor. So the transcription factor that binds onto our enhancer and then, and then this entire complex. So the transcription factor bound to the enhancer binds onto the protein complex found on the promoter. And once that binding takes place, that stimulates the transcription of that particular gene. It increases the rate at which transcription actually takes place. So this is one method by which eukaryotic cells actually regulate the rate of their transcription. And we'll focus on this in much more detail when we'll get into biochemistry.